Today we're going to make some garden beds for my roof deck. I'm going to use my compound miter saw to cut 2x12s which will make the perimeter of the beds. I purposely chose untreated lumber because I don't want chemicals leaching into the dirt. Now because these planters are going on top of a deck, they need to have a bottom that still allows some drainage. So I'm going to make that bottom out of 2x6s and 2x4s. I am making these planters to fit specific locations, but you could adjust the design and make them any size that you want. I'm going to use three and a half inch long deck screws to screw through the 2x6s and into the 2x12s. I'll finish off the floor with pieces of 2x4, leaving about two to three inches of space in between them for drainage. I'm using five inch L brackets to reinforce the corners of these planters. Since I am planning to build quite a few of these and each one will have different soil combinations for different plant types, I'm color coding the L brackets as a way of labeling the different planters. The insides of the L brackets are a little bit rounded, so I used a knife just to carve down the edges of the 2x12s a bit so that they fit nice and flush. I then screwed the brackets on using one and one quarter inch long deck screws. I stapled a layer of chicken wire to the bottom of the planter. This will keep rodents from climbing under and potentially burrowing up, and it'll also keep the landscape fabric from sagging down between the 2x4s and 2x6s. I then added a layer of landscape fabric on top of the chicken wire. I used half inch staples to fasten the landscape fabric. It's also important to make sure that you give a little bit of room or flex in the fabric so that the weight of the dirt doesn't rip it away from the wood. I'm going to try growing blueberries in these planters. And so I mixed in a combination of potting soil, which is nice and light, with a compost mix, which is nutrient dense. I'm going to use a combination of three different types of blueberry bushes so that they have a better chance of cross-pollinating. A friend who is a horticulturalist suggested adding in some holly tone to help modify the pH levels of the soil. Now I'm not an experienced gardener and I'm certainly not a patient one, so I was pretty happy that these plants already came with fruit on them. I very quickly learned that the birds and squirrels in the area were very excited about this blueberry buffet that I created. So I think I'll have to figure out a way to build some sort of protective nets over these plants. So stay tuned to this channel and I'll show you how we do it. For more detailed instructions, check out my website. And if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And be sure to check out Ryobi Nation where you can post your own projects and have a chance to win the tools that I use. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.